You know, when you're stranded out on the interstate, you expect to get some help. Never in your wildest dreams would you ever think about what happened to a Nashville man. His car was stolen after it was towed. He talked to News Channel 5's Mark Bellinger, and you'll never guess how he found his car. Right, Mark? <laughs> That's right. You won't believe it. He passed his car driving down I-40 two weeks after it was stolen. I mean, with my kids, I just wanted something safe. So. Jim Taylor loves Volvos. This 2006 model is his third one. So when it broke down on I-65 at the beginning of the month, he wanted to get it fixed. Yeah. He called his insurance company for roadside assistance, and they sent a tow truck to the car on I-65. Tow truck driver called me and asked me where to pick it up. I told him, told him where to take it, said leave the key in the drop box. He told the tow truck driver to drop off the car here at Snyder Automotive. It never happened. The guys at the repair shop say they never got the car. Taylor reported the car stolen, and then a funny thing happened as he was driving to Mount Juliet two weeks later on I-40 to go test drive a new car. Taylor spotted his car and followed it. I passed it on, the, on I-40 at around Stewart's Ferry. I got behind him, I followed him for about five or six miles, and uh, he pulled into a neighborhood, I, and we went around about four or five streets, and he realized I was following him and took off. Then he went back several times to the neighborhood, but he couldn't find the car. So he got the tow truck driver's name and went online. I Googled it. His address popped up right at the corner of the street where I lost him. Thieves find more and more ways to steal from people. Police have charged John Wayne Waldron, the driver, with theft. I mean, you just don't expect when you call a wrecker on your broken down vehicle, uh, is them being the suspects is going to steal your vehicle. Police say Waldron tried to hide the fact that the car was stolen. Scrape the VIN numbers off the door. When Taylor got the vehicle back, it was damaged. It looks minor, but there's enough, and the insurance company declared the car total. I got to find another vehicle. I'm out my deductible. Police say Waldron could face even more charges for removing those VIN numbers from the vehicle. Reporting live from North Nashville, Mark Bellinger, News Channel 5 HD.